Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first episode of Game Dev Tycoon. I literally just clicked the button on the main screen and I ended up here in this lovely little garage. Garage? 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 With a Back to the Future's car, eventually. It looks kind of like this. Uh, welcome, welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation you have been transported back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years you can rebuild your dream company, create best selling games, gain fans and become the leader of the market. This, my friends, sounds amazing. Uh, let me just have a look at the time. Okay, I want to do about 10-15 minutes episodes, roundabout. I have uh, two nice soundtracks selected for this uh, run, so let's get started. Before I can start your adventure, you have to give your upcoming company a name. Well, that's not too uh, hard. Uh, it will be Shadow Company. Uh, a little background information to Shadow Company. Uh, Shadow Company was actually the first name of any online clan I ever uh, made back in the time when Freelancer came out. So I will be, whoops, sorry, I will be male, get me some fancy hairs. Uh, ba -ba -ba. I would like to have dark hairs. I look a little bit Asian, uh, no racism intended, but I'm not that Asian at all, so let's go with the brown hair. Uh, it kind of goes along, I have long brown hairs as well in real life. Let's get me some dark nice sweaters with stripes on it, which makes me slim. Uh, no, horizontal ones would make me slim, this makes me fat. Anyways, let's continue. Achievement unlocked. Support a young startup. Buy the game. Oh, I did. I did indeed. So, what do we do? I'm a supporter. I have an achievement already. Develop new game. Yes, this sounds amazing. Before development can begin, you have to decide what kind of game you want to create and give your game a name. You can also select which graphic technology your game should use. The options are limited, initially limited, but once you have created a bit of experience, you will be able to unlock new options. Amazing. The first game. What shall the first game be? Let's make... Pick a topic. Yeah, let's pick a topic first. UFO, virtual pad, law, prison. Prison. UFO. Let's make UFO. A genre. Let's, let's do an action game. Something along the lines of, uh, like, a jumping, platforming. Oh, gee. <laughs> G64. Um... Market share. Uh, it has a better market. Let's. But I would like to go with the PC. It should be a PC game. I'm a PC gamer, and I shall support the PC. So the game shall be like UF UFO Invasion. UFO Invasion. Next. Graphic. Text-based. 2D graphics. Uh, let's make 2D graphics because we need some kind of graphics, right? Yes, for this kind of game, yes. Start development. And we are starting. See the little bubbles coming up. Game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage you can decide what areas you want to the game to focus on. Picking the right focus of your game creates increase the points you generate, which is great. The points are bugs, design, technology and research. Think about what Areas are important for your game and decrease the f and decrease the focus on areas you think are less important. If you want to read a brief description of the different areas, please refer to the help menu. No thanks, sir. Uh, engine, it's quite one. I want to have a decent gameplay. A little bit less story for this one. So something along those lines and go. Oh yeah, technology is coming in. Game development has started now. While developing your game, uh, you will generate game points which come bubbling up. Game points are divided into uh, design points, technology points. The more points you will generate, the better the game will be. Amazing. From time to time, there will also be bug points generated. Those points become up. Voila, there goes the spoon. Um, bugs should be fixed before the game is released and increase game development time and cost. Indeed. 
Oh yeah, design technology research. Boom. Uh, stage two. Uh, time allocation preview. Uh, dialogue level design artificial intelligence. Uh, level design is quite an important point. The dialogues, uh, it's more a sh action shooting thingy. And let's do the artificial intelligence a bit like this. Just a real nicely balanced game. And we shall see how it works out. We get a decent amount of design and research points during development. You can also select additional features for your game. But right now you can only pick basic sounds. But your options will increase quickly. Selecting additional features makes the game generally better but increase also the costs. You will also see the graphic type when you select it. You define the game. This is just to remind you of your choice. You cannot change the type of graphics mid-game. Yeah, this would be hilarious. Uh, talking about uh, feature creep. Basic sounds. Yes, please. Uh, world design. Graphic graphics. I want amazing graphics. I want good sounds. A little bit less level design. Boom, boom, boom. 12. Research. 14. Sound. Boom. Finish. The development of your first game is now complete. You can press finish button to publish your game, but you should only do once you fix the majority of bugs. Releasing a game without fixing bugs can severely affect your rating, so you should only ever consider that if you need to the cash and you can't afford to wait. Well, we have a little bit of cash, so let's wait until we fix those bugs. And yes! The development of your game has now been finished. While developing games you gain experience and improve skills. When development is complete you will present it with a summary of experience gained. Amazing! Oh yeah! Bonus! Bonus! Even more bonus! Engine, gameplay, story quest, dialogues, level design, artificial intelligence, world design, graphics, sound, shadow and dark. Boom! There we are! Sounds about right, we have over 100 at all points, except for story quest dialogues. Uh, close here, um, the dialogues are a little bit low, eventually I should have put a little bit more points into them. But, I would say, UFO Invasion is ready to be released. Good judgment. Sweet. Your game is now complete and will be handed off to publishing. We should see more review sales and coming. We should see reviews and sales coming in for the game soon. Amazing! Can I? Shall I just wait or shall I be like game review? Boom! The first reviews of your newly released game, Ufo Invasion, came in. Show me. How did we do? Not so much fun. Oh. Waste of time. Oh, that's mean. Disappointing game hero. You're not my hero anymore. Okay, ha! All games. All games says it's a nice game. It's an okay game. An okay is okay. Okay? Close. After publishing a game, you can invest a little bit of time to analyze your creation and generate the game report. Game reports are a great way to gain research points as well as valuable insights into what work and what doesn't work when developing a game. Okay, to generate a report, uh, close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Click anywhere. Woo! Uh, develop new game. Generate game report. Yes, please. Uvo Invasion. Units sold. We don't know. Units uh, 31k. Profits. We don't know. Scores is 3. Okay. News. Shadow Company, a newcomer in the game industry, has just released the first game, Uvo Invasion. The game had a moderate response from reviewers. We are curious what Shadow Company will deliver in the future. Oh, so am I. So am I. Amazing. What are you doing right now? You're doing something. Oh, look at the units. Uvo Invasion has sold 2388 units in its first week on the market. Great stuff. Let's see, we have like 16k in sales. We use 32k, so we need like double of it. Give me more money. Throw money at me, please. 
throw money at me. Now that the game is on sale, you will receive income from the game every week. Uh, you now can see how well your game is doing by looking at the sales graphs at the top right of the screen. Okay, amazing. Sell more, sell more, sell more, give money. 16, uh, that's 23. Uh, our post-release analyzes if Oof an invasion is complete and we got the following results. Blah, 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 blah. Results. UFO and action is a great combination. Booyah kata. Level design seems to be quite important for this type of game. I think I messed up the level design a bit. Okay. Game reports are a great way to gain more research points and new insights. It pays up to generate reports for each game you release. Now that you've completed your first game report, it's a good idea to take a look at the research menu. To open the research menu, close this message and click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Shall do. Research. Research is important to unlock new options to make games better. You should try to save enough research points to be able to create your own game engine. This will greatly improve your games. Okie doke. Try to develop games with different topics and genre combinations for a slight research boost. Thank you very much police that you're just driving by right now. So what shall I, what do I have? I have like, uh, I can't do this one. So I will do this one. Fashion, post-apocalyptic superheroes dungeon. Let's do a dungeon crawler. Start research. And more sales are coming in okay okay we researched you have successfully researched a new topic dungeon okay ladies and gentlemen i think this was it from the tutorial we see that the sales are decreasing oh hey hello that was a nice sale there uh, it goes up and down and up and down i think this is all from the very beginning Games off the market. Eve Invasion is now off the market. It sold 6,729 uh, units, generating 47k in sales, which is amazing. We made our first game, which cost us 36,000 bucks, and now we made 47,000 bucks. So we are good. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we will do a new game here. I hope you enjoyed this first little episode, it was the tutorial episode, a lot of text, a lot of reading from my side. I'm generating costs, oh my god, escape. <laughs> um, yeah, let's pause the game here, uh, not that we lose more money. Um, I love this game, straight up, I love the principle behind it and so on. I hope you loved the game as well, if you loved what you see, if you liked my video, if you liked my commentary and so on. If you like the background music, which you will find in the description, you can go, you can listen to it, you can download it on ccmixter.org. Uh, links are in the description where to get it. Um, please consider to leave a like if you like the video, make a little comment about uh, if you like this game, if you like what I do here and so on, if you want to see more. Very important. I'm kind of doing this because I love to play games and I love to record games and so on but I also would like to hear that I do something which is you know which brings something to the people I would like to spread my joy and I love to hear if you like the same things as well so at this point we will finish we will save the game here and we will see us next time bye